So I'm back in my Airbnb where I'm staying in Tangier, Morocco. Back from taking a walk and figuring out whether there's a local gym. As I mentioned, I always like to go and check out where the local fitness, more specifically strength training culture is in the city when I'm traveling for work or when I'm traveling for personal reasons. So today, and it's still Ramadan by the way, so you know, the schedule and, and a lot of places aren't open. But today I wanna show you a 10 minute workout on how to stay in shape. More particularly, how to consistently keep up with your strength training, keep that muscle mass stimulated and from deteriorating. And it's a 10 minute upper body, more focused workout. We're gonna focus on triceps, we're gonna focus on deltoids, and we're gonna focus on push-ups and a little bit of upper back. These are the main areas, and if you're sitting behind a desk for a living, these areas are crucial. I always like to start off with a shoulder warm-up. This is called the letter V for victory. You're gonna lay down on your mat like this. You're gonna point the thumbs up towards the ceiling, turn them out diagonally, keep your legs up in the air. My legs are up in the air, you can't see it, but they're gonna be up in the air. When you lift the thumbs, like this, you're gonna engage your shoulder blades, which is your mid upper back. Squeeze the shoulder blades while your legs are up in the air and give me 15 reps of that. And what that's gonna do for you is warm up the upper back muscles that are extremely important to not only just protect them from the neglect that we give them because most of us are sitting behind a desk but at the same time, you wanna warm them up and protect that posture. The posture is extremely important as we are more and more of a sedentary society. Not just in the West, but in most countries now, everyone, most people sit behind a desk. 15 reps. And then you wanna do an exercise called cat and cow. 10 reps, hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips, and you wanna stretch out and lubricate that spine. <sighs> Mobility. <sighs> Deep breathing. And put your knees wide open. This is what I call a prayer stretch. Knees wide open, that's gonna give your body weight and room to go down and bring that chest all the way down to your mat. Hold that for 10 seconds. And rest. Now remember, 10 minutes strength training and toning on how to preserve that muscle mass. And if you're fasting, if you're someone that follows a fasting schedule in Ramadan, this is a perfect routine for you because there are countless benefits and research that's been stated that when you do training in a fasted state, it has a whole lot, a whole, long list of benefits, additional benefits. I do personally intermittent fasting, so I'm still doing a, uh, in an intermittent fasted state right now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the band on the feet, in the middle of the feet, get the elbows to the side of the body, turn them out while the elbows are close to the side of the body. This is gonna warm up my rotator cuff, which are the muscles in your shoulder, and it's gonna further pull my posture open. We're gonna do 15 reps this, extra squeeze on your shoulder blades. Always warm up your shoulders, posture, everything before you do an upper body exercise. As you get older and older and you continue sitting behind a desk to earn a living, your shoulder mobility, health further deteriorates and if you don't take care of it, whew, trouble. Five, four, Three, two, one. Now one of the things I like to do if I'm focusing on specific 
tightening and toning. So today I'm going to start with tightening the back of the arms first and toning the back of the arms, strengthening that. And then I'm going to do my big exercise like a push up. And the way I like to do that is I like to hold the band on the floor with one hand. Keep the body straight and you will see a variation of it in the gym where your elbow is tucked in, posture straight, stomach in, and then you're going to extend it out like this, contracting the tricep where for a lot of women, that's an area where you hold more body fat. So we're gonna do 12, three, four, keep the posture straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, look at the pace, it's completely controlled. 11, I don't wanna see this. This is what I see in the gym all the time. You wanna go 11, nice and controlled. And 12, hold it, the other side. Use the hand to hold down the weight, back straight. See how my spine is completely neutral? One, two, three, four, Five, woo, six, that band will never fail. Eight, control, elbows tight, nine, 10, 11, 12, perfect. So now we're gonna do 12 sets of push-up. Now why these push-ups are different? It's because I focus on a, theory, a, a strategy called MAT, muscle activation training, which means my pace has to be completely slow, my shoulder blades have to be engaged, and I'm gonna put my mind-muscle connection to the triceps and the pecs while keeping my core straight. One. Two, you do 12 of these, whoo. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Naturally and scientifically, I pre activated my tricep muscle and then did the push up. More the emphasis and the mind goes in that. And a lot of you ladies, if that's your problem area, you wanna plan your workout where you address and activating the problem area first. Now, we're gonna go back to the shoulder warm up. It's called the rotator cuff, but I've given this exercise a name. Reverse fly, elbow tucked in. Elbow tucked in, reverse fly, we're gonna do 12. Squeeze the shoulder blades, two, three. Once you're squeezing the shoulder blades, you're gonna notice your posture opens up. Six, great exercise for your shoulders if you sit behind a desk. Again, eight, nine, 10, 11. Last one always hold for three, two, one, rest. Now, that second round, for pulling the shoulders warming up. And now we're gonna do second round for the back of the area where you have problems. Put the one hand on the band, and get the elbow tucked in like this. Remember, your spine is neutral, core engaged, 12 reps, X squeeze one. Two. And if the band is too strong, the resistance is too much, like lifting a heavier weight when you're not ready for it, cut some slack in the band. See, hold it a little bit further. Three. The goal is by the 12th rep, you should be burning. Four. Five. Going up a little bit higher. See? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, very controlled, very muscle oriented, toning oriented, 
Muscle activation, 12, hold it, three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Okay, now again, second set. And you wanna get two sets done in 10 minutes. Two rounds for every exercise. One. Hopefully if we go beyond 10 minutes today, it's okay. Three, you see that? Activate that muscle. Again, I see so many mistakes in the gym. I do see this all the time. Spine completely neutral, elbow tucked in. Contract, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, Ah, 12, beautiful. Again, by this time, my triceps are completely activated. We're gonna do round two for push-ups. 12, the muscle activation ones where we go slow down, slow up. Once again, mus muscle activation, the acronym is MAT, muscle activation training. There should be no bouncing around that I see in the gym. Watch, hands, chest up, shoulder blades in, really slow, belly in, one. Two, nice. Three, four, five, six, breathe. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, burning. Two rounds for triceps. Two rounds for push-ups. This is again pre-activated. That means I feel this more than the shoulder and that's how you get rid of flabby areas if you're a woman between 30 to 45. Now we're gonna go for one more round of the posture exercise, which is the deltoid. It actually trains not just your rotator cuff muscles which are in the shoulder, and again, great for when you work behind a desk, but actually also works the posterior deltoid a little bit. Back of the shoulder. Elbow tucked in, checklist, shoulders down, chest up, belly button in. 12, see how the elbows are close to the body? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12. One more bonus for you. 13, hold it, four, three, two, one. Ooh. All right, last round for triceps. If you're a beginner and you can only do Two sets. Hell, if you can only do one round, do one round. This band is about 45, 50 pounds worth. Pick a band that's lighter. Okay, now, last round for triceps, and then we'll do last round for push ups. I think this is going to go more than a 10 minute workout, but if it's under 30 minutes, bravo. Shouldn't be wasting much time. Elbows tucked in, Corin. 12, 11, 10, make it a little bit harder, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Let me tell you, three sets for triceps. One. Two. You see that contraction on the tricep? Three. Back of the arm. Believe it or not, sometimes even men hold more body fat on the back of the arm. Just with with age and lack of proper targeting, it gets. Weak, 
You lose your tone, strength, <sighs> muscle response to constant activation in a specific way, targeted way. Personalized way. See that? <sighs> specific target strength training consistently. Now we're gonna do our last round of muscle activation push-ups. Wish me good luck because let me tell you, my, my arms, my triceps are burning. 12 coming up. Scapula engage, chest up, core in. Ooh. Ooh. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, one more for you. Ooh. At that level, even the bicep is engaged. You know what I mean? Strategy, technique, approach. These things matter, not just going on doing something without a plan. So, those are my triceps, deltoid, front of the shoulder, core is activated while you do the push-up. Hopefully under 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't know how long it's been. But if you have any questions, drop a comment, let me know what your questions are. I'll try and get back to you. This is how you train while you're traveling. You can't find a gym. Or if you're someone whose lifestyle doesn't allow you to consistently go to the gym, great workout to home. Like for instance, a mom, you know? Kids, you wanna put in 20 minutes, do two rounds. It's that consistency that will get you in shape and progression. Coach Adam, have a great day. I will keep you posted about my trip.